questions. So I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to get as many done as I can, um, but let me know if you have any questions and I will try to do some more videos after this as well. So question one, fill in the missing words in each of the following. So we've got nice eight easy marks as long as you know um, some of these definitions, some of these geometry rules and words. So 250 degrees is called, so if it is such a big angle, if it is um, bigger than 90 degrees, it's obtuse. And if it's bigger than 180 degrees, we would call it a reflex angle. Okay, so that would be something that you would have to know. So you'd have to know those angle definitions. Because remember, the really small ones are acute. Then if we have 90 degrees, that's a right angle. If we have quite a big angle, that would be obtuse. And if we have a really big angle like this one, 250 degrees, that is going to be a reflex angle. The complement of 40. So this word complement, that is your keyword. So complement means it adds up to 90. Okay, so if I have 40, I want it to add up to 90, the complement is 50. So it's what do I need to add to 40 to get to 90? Supplement is kind of similar. So supplement means it adds up to 180. So if I've already got 80, I want it to be 180, then that is going to be 100 degrees that I need there. Okay, so complement adds up to 90, supplement adds up to 180. The size of an angle of an equilateral triangle. Okay, so equilateral triangle means all the angles are equal, and we have to know every angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. A triangle with three sides of equal length, okay, they have given this to us in the question before. So if you're worried about spelling, you've got it right there. So a triangle with three sides of equal length is equilateral. So equal sides means it is equilateral. So equilateral literally means equal and then lateral sides. If an obtuse angle is halved, what type of angle is formed? Okay, so an obtuse angle has to be um, less than 180 degrees. So it could be 179 degrees. If we halved 179, let's say, so 179 divided by 2. This one's just kind of a thinking one just to get you thinking. 179 divided by 2 is 89.5. So that would be an acute angle. Okay, so any angle that is obtuse, if we half it, we are going to get an acute angle because it's going to be less than 90 degrees. The angle between the two hands of the clock at 1220 is, so let's check, at 1220, we have one hand like that and one hand at 1220. Okay, so hmm, I'm actually not sure on this. If it was 1230, it would be 180 degrees. So let's just check this one. Okay, that would be 110 degrees. So how we know this is So the hour hand is 360. Okay, so we said that. So we could say 360 divided by 12 is 30. Okay, so this makes sense. So just let's just quickly draw a clock just in case you ever see this one again. This would be kind of a, just to see if you know have this knowledge. So they say every um, every hour is 30 degrees. So if you went to one o'clock, it would be 30 degrees. Then two o'clock would be 60 degrees. Three o'clock would be 90 degrees. So four o'clock would be 120. Okay, so that's pretty good, useful general knowledge. You can see I didn't know that one. It's been a while since I've done this. So um, in on a clock, every hour is 30 degrees. Okay, so we can say then the angle between the two hands. So if we went from this 12 o'clock here to the 1220, 
that would be 120 degrees that we've moved there. And then 90 degrees, we also call it just a right angle. And that's a word that they use a lot. So that one you definitely have to know. OK, let's keep going. So if we look then at the next one, so classify each triangle according to their sides. OK, so again, these are triangle words that we have to know. So first of all, um, this first triangle, all we know is that this side is equal to this side. OK, if we know that two sides are equal like this, it is called an isosceles triangle. So this would be where they're also checking your spelling. So this is an isosceles triangle. Just keep in mind they haven't asked us here, but in an isosceles triangle, we have two sides that are equal. And then these two angles are equal as well, okay? Because these sides are kind of like arrows pointing down at those angles, okay? This one, we've got three sides that are different. So this side is different to this side, and that's all different to this side, okay? So if they're all different, it's called a scalene triangle. So all the sides are different, all the angles are different. So scalene triangle. Then 2.1, use a ruler and a pencil to draw an example of an acute angle. We don't have to use a protractor. And then a reflex angle. Okay, so you're going to have to excuse me. I don't have a ruler on the computer that I can use. But if we want an acute angle, it's just acute means it's, it's cute. It's really small. So any sort of angle like this. Okay, so any small angle. It can be slightly bigger. So it can still be like that. OK, that would be an acute angle, so just a really small one. And then a reflex angle we already discussed. So a reflex angle is bigger than 180 degrees. So you're going to draw a straight line and then you're going to draw something going down. So a reflex angle goes 180 degrees and then it keeps going. OK, so we can see it's bigger than 180 degrees. If you wanted to, you could label it. Like maybe you could say, oh, this is a 30 degree angle. And this could be maybe a 210 degree angle. But they didn't actually ask for that. So if you could just draw that, that would be great. You'd get all those marks. Just be really careful. So they say use a ruler and pencil to 